The race, Phillies tied with the Astros for the lead. Marlins two back and hosting Philly. Don Trell started the ninth with seven strikeouts, only three hits, and no runs allowed. Phillies down 2 0. First batter, Jimmy Rollins, his hit streak up to 23 games. After a walk to Jason Michaels, Bobby Abreu rips one. Luis Castillo can't handle it. Rollins scores. Don Trell done for the game. Remember, he had won six straight coming in. Ty Jones on in relief. Pat Burrow in the center field. Juan Pierre got a late start and couldn't get there. Jason Michaels scores for the game tied at two. There goes Don Trell's lead, and it got worse. Next batter, Chase Utley. Runners at first and second. Bunt. Jones, he's got it, but he doesn't know what to do with it. Andy Chavez scores. Phillies up 3-2. Next batter, David Bell. Infield drawn in now. Little pop fly up over them. Luis Castillo and Pierre both trying to get it. Neither one can get it. Shane Victorino scores. Phillies up 4-2, and it just continues. RBI single by Mike Lieberthal. Then Ryan Howard. Through the legs of Jeff Conine, Bell scores. Phillies up 6-2. Jack McKee like, man, I'm too old for this. Later in the inning, bases loaded. Still nobody out. Jimmy Rollins, his second single of the inning. 14 Phillies batted in the ninth. They get 10 runs on eight hits, four errors. Most runs scored by their franchise in the ninth inning since 1891. The Phillies win it 10-2. Astros holding that slim NL wild card lead, hosting the Brew Crew, looking for their fourth win in a row. Craig Biggio. This bottom one is 22nd of the year and 43rd career leadoff home run. He got all of it. 1-0 Houston. In the ninth, Nelson Cruz. To center, look at Charles. Gibson Jr. get all turned around out there, but a nice job. Astros win 7-0. Brandon Backey, his first victory since July 18th. Houston has won four in a row. Padres hosting Washington. Nationals up 5-1. Two outs, bottom nine. San Diego loads them up. Chad Cordero facing Khalil Green. Oh, no. High drive, deep to left. Way back there. Gone. Batters had been 0 for 22 with the bases loaded career versus Cordero, but Green ties it up, and then 5-5, bottom 12, two on for Ramon Hernandez, his first career walk-off three-run shot, and the Padres come back big time to win 8-5. Updated look at the NL wild card. Phillies and Astros still a half game apart. It's about to get a lot harder for Houston, however, because starting Monday, they go on a nine-game road trip through Pittsburgh, Chicago, and St. Louis. Actually clinched the Central by winning at Wrigley, top two. Mark Mulder dropping one down on Mad Dog. Greg Maddox squeeze scores Abraham Nunez. Mulder also pitched well, allowing just one run in seven. His first win since August 22nd. Bottom nine, Jason Isringhausen. Gets former Red Sox great Todd Walker. Greg Maddox gets the loss. Cards win 5-1, and they can finally celebrate that whole NL Central deal. St. Louis has won four of the last six division titles. The hunt for October. Red Sox AL East lead down to just a game and a half hosting Oakland. Tim Wake. <laughs> Manny Ramirez. Yard! His sixth off Danny Heron. Manny, who forced in the winning run Friday when he was hit by a pitch. Look again. They measured this at 450 feet. Wicked far on the Mass Pike. His 36th, 2-1 Boston. Bronson Arroyo was terrific. Tied the first 12 he faced and get some help here from Alex Cora, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they got rid of that mock Bellhorn guy. Arroyo gave up one run on only three hits in seven. Gets Dan Johnson there. The Timmer in the ninth trying to close Mike Timlin, former Red Sox sourpuss. Jay Payton goes down. Boston has won 14 straight one-run games at Fenway Park. They beat Oakland 2-1. All right, what about the Yankees? They played earlier Saturday at the Rogers Center in Toronto. A Jorge Posada in the sixth. He was three for four to right center. It's headed for the wall. It's off the wall. Aaron Hill has the relay. They wave Hideki Matsui all the way from first, and he is meat. Still one nothing Yankees. See how he built the drama there? Yeah, yeah. Bottom eight, Reed Johnson. And here's Hideki Matsui with a top play nominee. Crank up the Yankeeography. Ninth inning, Joe Torre giving Mariano the day off after he pitched three games in a row. Former Red Sox great Shea Hillenbrand up. Two on, one out in the ninth. 
Gordon in a jam, but he gets the double play ball. A-Rod with a nice stop. Tom Gordon, Spurs save. Sean Chacon pitch. Eight scoreless, gave up only four hits. Yankees have won six in a row. So here's the deal. Red Sox lead stays at one and a half. Sunday, Boston has Matt Clement facing the A's. Well, the Yankees have Jarrett Wright against the Blue Jays. AL Central now. White Sox lead on the Indians. Four and a half games starting Saturday. Cleveland facing the Royals. Bottom of the first, Coco Crisp. Second batter of the game for the Indians. No need to chase it. It's not coming back. Indians up two zip. Crisp. 14th home run of the season. Later in the inning, runners of the corners for Victor Martinez. Base hit. Johnny Peralta coming around. Indians up 3-0. They end up scoring five in the first. That's what you call a good start. Top of the sixth. They're up 5 one 2 on for Emil Brown. That's well hit. Brown's 14th. Royals cut the margin to 5-4. So we go to the ninth. Bob Wickman in. Runners on second and third. Justin Huber at the plate with an opportunity. Set down. And the Indians win it 5-4. They keep right on rolling. So what about the White Sox? Taking on the Twins in Minnesota. Top of the first, Johan Santana facing Pablo Azuna. Got him looking. Next batter, Tadahito Iguchi. May I help you? No thanks. I'm just looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Next batter, Paul Konerko. And that's his third strikeout. Santana would strike out 13, worked eight innings, allowed four hits, and walked two. Joe Nathan comes in to relieve Santana, who loaded the bases with no outs. Five nothing twins. Carl Everett down swinging, so there's one out. Aaron Rowan, he's down. Two out, bases still loaded. Next batter, Jermaine Dye. Got him. That's the ball game. White Sox leave the bases loaded. Twins win it five zip. Chicago's lost seven of nine. So here's the updated look at the AL Central standings. White Sox once led this division, you may remember, by 15 games, and it's down to three and a half now. Indians have won 11 of 12, and they sent CC Sabathia to the mound on Sunday. Angels AL West lead one game over Oakland entering the day. L.A. of Anaheim hosting the Tigers. Third inning, Irvin Santana facing Brandon Inge. Foul, Darren Erstad, Adam Kennedy. Erstad! All right, barehanded. That retired Detroit in the third. Another good bounce for Erstad here in the sixth. Craig Monroe off Irvin Santana's glove. Right to Erstad at first. He'll take it. That's a nice routine third out. Eighth now, former Red Sox great Orlando Cabrera up. The bases are loaded. A lot of former Red Sox Well, you know what? He's looking real good if you've seen Edgar Renteria these days. Tigers get one. Cabrera beats the throw to first. That ties it up 1-1. After Cabrera stole the base, Garrett Anderson. Broke. Brown will double the right. It scores two. And the Angels get their first lead of the game, and they go on to uh, beat the Tigers 3-1. So here's the deal. The Angels and A's now have to realize they are fighting for just the division. The Indians and Yankees now have a sizable lead over both for that extra playoff spot. All right, here they are. It's a, well, it's the best. It's 10 plays, and there were the best things that happened on Saturday. We call it top play. Nice work. Yankees, Blue Jays at number 10. Robinson Cano start the Yankeeography. They win again, 1-0 in Toronto. Number 9, Oregon State and Louisville. Louisville receiver Mario Oridian. What a grab. One hand fighting off the defender. And as soon as I saw that, I was sitting back wondering what Chris Spielman thought about that it. That might even cross over to Web Gem nominee. Oh, a Web Gem top play. Nice work out of Chris. Number eight, UConn, Georgia Tech. P.J. Daniels watched the flip at the end. Trying to hurdle the defender gets flipped in the process. And in Georgia Tech, they're off to a nice start. They win 28-13. Number seven, 84 Lumber Classic. This is Craig Barlow. And he placed this one properly. See, it's not where it winds up. you got to figure out where to land it. And Barlow did it just right. And it stopped an inch from the cup. It's two shots off the lead. Number six. You know, I went to Idaho for the for the 50 and 50. Yeah. And they know how to... Are you there? Oh, no. I was in the, in the tunnel thing. But okay. This guy jumped off a bridge 55th times in one day over the Snake River. We did a story on that. Real popular. popular. Okay. New world record. Number five, A's and Red Sox, Alex Cora. The diving stop. Take a look at it again. And no parachute for Cora. The need one. The yeah, Red Sox win it two to one. Number four, Virginia Syracuse. UVA's Michael Johnson. 70 yards. Touchdown. And the UVA Wahoos could be the next Michael Johnson. You never know. They beat the Syracuse 27-24. 
Number three, Fresno State in Oregon. This is Terrence Whitehead. And just like McFadden and Whitehead, there ain't no stopping oh, him now. Nice. Lee Corso wasn't kidding about those uniforms. I mean, those are butt ugly. They should be. I mean, they're they worse than fined by the NCAA. They're worse than Louisville. Every game. Oh, Louisville's up. The Whitehead got the touch. I mean, that looks like rollerball stuff. Number two, Vanderbilt. All miss. All miss. Miko McSwain takes the touch. All right, we're going over here now. We're going all the way to the other end. Look at him matriculate the ball up the field. 53 yards. Ole Miss, though, lost 31-23, but they had that cool play. That was a great burst of speed at the end. Number one, Michigan State taking on Notre Dame. Damn option play. Pitches it back. Teague. Good step on Teague. 